Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel where I post solutions to different coding challenges, recordings of my weekly podcasts, and various videos about my experience from attending a coding boot camp to becoming a freelance web developer. If you'd like to learn more or follow along on my journey, please feel free to visit my website at www.suitcasecoder.com. Cool, so let's go straight into today's weekly challenge solution. So if you haven't heard my last episode of the podcast or haven't visited my website yet. I post weekly, I post weekly coding challenges on my website and announce them on my podcast that comes out every Tuesday. Last week's coding challenge was the name game. And basically what I had you do is create an array of names of different lengths. And from that array, pull out names that are only shorter than or equal to four letters long. So I'm going to get started and to get started, I'm going to go over to codepen.io and create a new pen. So codepen.io is a website that allows you to kind of practice code and do different little coding challenges. And it already has HTML, CSS, and JavaScript set up. And it's just an easy in browser text editor. So I'm going to get started there and I'm going to minimize my HTML editor and my CSS because today we will be only using JavaScript. And another thing I want to do is move my face over so that I can click on console because everything that we will be doing today using JavaScript will be seen on the console. So the first thing we want to do, and I'll write out the steps here, is to create an array of names. So now remember that when you're creating a list of names, that's basically an array of strings. So you have to separate the names out with commas and each name has to be within quotes so that it tells JavaScript that the names are strings, which are basically text. Okay, so as you can see here, I, had cre I created a variable called names and only two of them are shorter than or equal to four letters. So what we wanna do is create a new array that prints out only those two names or any other name that you might add to the list that is four letters or less. So in order to do that, I'm gonna create a new variable called new array, and I'm just gonna leave it blank. That way, when I'm done doing the conditionals, I'll go back and print out the new array versus the old one. Okay, so now I want to create a for loop and loop through this array of names to make sure I check every name and whether it's four letters long or not. So let's go ahead and create a for loop. And remember for is you're gonna start i equals zero, basically starting at the zero position of the array, which is Rachel. And then you're going to keep looping through the array as long as less than the length of the array. And then you're gonna iterate through each name once. So that's what the plus plus does. So what we wanna do if the length of the name that we're on is less than or equal to four letters long, then we want to push it into our new new array using the dot push method. And so I call the new array, right? The empty array that we created, and I'm using the push method to add the name that we are currently on. So then we have to say, okay, if that's not the condition, so if it's longer than four letters or else, you just want to maybe console log skip. Okay, so I added something real small here. So in my else statement, I'm gonna console log skip plus the name that I'm on. That way I'm aware which name I'm skipping. And the fifth thing to do then is outside of our for loop, you want to print or log the new array containing only the names that are shorter than or equal to four letters long. And that is simply done with a console log. And then you're going to just print the new array. Enter, you can see kind of what the console did along the way. So it skipped Rachel, it skipped Chandler, Monica, and Phoebe, and then it printed out Ross and Joe because they're both shorter than four letters long. So yeah, that's basically it. Just to kind of recap this coding challenge, you have an array of strings. You want to create an empty array to push your new conditionals into. You create a for loop to loop through your original array, and then that's where you're going to set the conditionals if else statements. At the end of that, you would just want to print the new array, which is holding your array based on which conditionals you gave it. And just remember that this kind of coding challenge will come up a bunch in coding interviews. And I think it's very helpful to have because once you kind of understand the process of looping through an array and pulling something out based on the conditionals, 
you can do it with a whole bunch of things. I hope this challenge was helpful. Please let me know which kind of challenges you would be interested in doing. Tune into my podcast to hear next week's challenge. Reach out if you have any questions. I'm always happy to help and hopefully answer all of the comments and questions you guys might have. Cool. Thanks for tuning in. Bye. Thank you.